We're here with uh, Don Arnott from the Canadian Amateur Combat Championship Council. Did I get that right? Council? Pretty close. Pretty close. Can you, can you correct me, please? Canadian Amateur Combat Sports Council. Okay. Now, Don, uh, how long has the council been around? A uh, year and a half. year and a half. Now, before that, I've been doing amateur shows for quite some time, if I'm not mistaken. I've been promoting uh, since 1982. Now, what's what's the total number of shows you've done? I've done about approximately 120 events, including uh, uh, kickboxing, professional boxing, and now mixed martial arts. Um, now, the format that you have with with mixed martial arts is very entertaining. It <laughs> You've done uh, 30 seconds stand-up rules with the ground. You've done all kinds of exciting stuff that for the fans. We've done a lot of these events. We do them in uh, California. We've done them in uh, Utah. We did them in Alberta. We've done them in Nanaimo uh, under these same rules. We've probably had close to three to 400 bouts under these rules, which are uh, an elimination tournament, which is a uh, three-minute round and they fight off until there is one champion left in the division. And what we have also included with it is a 30 second ground rule. So just to keep that action fast and going. And it does. I mean, and the exciting part is that over 80% of our fights do end in the submissions. Well, that's the thing is that I was at the last uh, April, you guys did the Canadian Amateur Championships, and I had a blast. I was sitting ringside, and guys like Brad Robinson, Oren Hanscom, I can name off so many local guys that showed up there, fought guys from all over the country, from Ontario, from uh, all provinces, and there was a champion crown, and that's what people want to see when they go to MMA events. They want to see championship rounds, and that's what you're delivering with, with these rules. I mean, I know that you're not an amateur to, to the sport, but how did how did the idea of uh, fine-tuning the rules come about? Well, my background is martial arts, and uh, I've trained world champions in kickboxing, and I've promoted these type of events uh, in kickboxing. And then when mixed martial arts started, I watched it very closely and watched how it developed. And one of the things I noticed that sometimes, especially watching the crowds, you'd get a crowd that would be, you know, the, gun, the fight would go to the ground, not too much would be going on, it would look dead, and the crowd would go dead. Even in a UFC fight, there'd be like silence in the crowd, or people would be yelling, pick up the action, do something exciting. And we thought, you know, for the, the really hardcore jiu-jitsu guys, well, that's cool. They can stay there five minutes on the ground till the guy makes a mistake, till they can, you know, work their submission move on the guy. But, you know, the fans get bored with that. When we were in California, uh, we tried to... They, uh, one of the casinos we were doing events at with our boxing, they brought a cage fight in for the first time. This is a few years ago. And the crowd booed it. And they threw their cups in the cage and they weren't very happy. And so the uh, casino we were dealing with said, you know, we don't want to do cage fights. And I wasn't the promoter of it. It was a standard cage fighting rules. And I said, well, you know, I've been working on an idea how to speed it up and modify it. And I told them about the elimination tournament, the three-minute round, and the 30-second ground rule. And they said, okay, we'll give it a try. I mean, the place went crazy. I mean, they loved it. And we've done uh, nine of those events in that same casino since then, and it sells out every time in advance. People just love the concept of it. And it's just been catching on wherever we're doing it. The guys who are good on the ground, they don't mess around. I mean, they, they know they got 30 seconds to submit them, and they're doing it. And it's exciting to watch. And if they can't do it, they're back up on their feet, and then they're slamming the guy to the ground again, giving it a second shot at it. If they can't do it, they're back up on their feet, they're slamming them down again. So it makes a lot of excitement Sorry, for it. And you're doing the BC Extreme MMA Championships at the Red Robinson Casino next week. So Friday, September 17th, Red Robinson Casino. People can come out and see BC's own. This is an all BC card. Yeah, it, but the thing is, too, with our championship, it is open for others they want to come in, and we do have a... Uh, we got a couple from Yellowknife coming down and one from Alberta. They wanted to travel in and, and take part. And, you know, we will have six champions, six BC champions uh, crowned on the 17th. Uh, seven, or six title belts for it. It's going to be great. Now, Summer is going to be one of the ring card girls, so she's the next Ariani uh, to be discovered here. So make sure you look out for her on Friday. <laughs> Nadine. And uh, Nadine, Nadine is still our BCMMA.com official interview girl. So Sweet. you might see her in the ring if you're lucky, but you'll see her in a lot of interviews. We'll see. It'll be some time before I'm back in the ring, yeah. Oh, I need a bit of training. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know y'all can do better than that, man. I know y'all can do better than that.
the website again they can look you out on? Uh, ExtremeMMA.info. So ExtremeMMA.info, you can see the winners from the last event. So on that note, thank you very much, Don. Okay, thank you. Any thank last you. words you'd like to say? Yeah, well, come out on uh, Friday, the 17th. It's going to be a great show, and uh, you'll have a great time.